Hi guys, as you can tell, I just woke up and yeah, my hair is a mess, my face is a mess, and let me just show you my shirt, it's a Pikachu shirt. Anyway, today I have a book haul for you guys, and I have books that people lent to me, and I recently received a Nook Simple Touch, so I'm going to talk about that later on. The first two books I got are from my friend. We had this secret Santa thing, and I had these on my wish list, so she got them for me. The first book is Beautiful Chaos by Margaret Stoll and Cami Garcia. This is the third book in the Beautiful Creatures series. I don't know if this is the last book. I think it is, because, you know, most supernatural books come in threes. I'm currently reading Beautiful Creatures, and I like it a lot so far so I'm gonna do a review on that when I finish it I'm sorry I'm starting to talk like I have colds because it's the morning I have allergies Ugh. the next book I got I've been wanting to read and wanting to have for a long time and I was gonna borrow a copy from my friend but my other friend got the book for me and said it's 13 reasons why by Jay Asher it is very interesting. The plot is very interesting. I have not read it. The writing style is quite different, so I'm looking forward to reading it and understanding why, you know, 13 reasons why. Yeah, I'm corny. The next book I got, it's actually the only book I actually bought, so it is The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. This book is the second book to his Heroes of Olympus series and his first book is called The Lost Hero. I have not read it but it just sounds so interesting and I love the covers all the time so I couldn't not buy it. Things I borrowed from different people. The first one is Dark Prophecy by Anthony Zwicker. This is the sequel to the book I had reviewed a few months back, Dark Origins. And if you watched that video, you would know that Anthony Zwicker is actually the creator of CSI. So his books are a lot like CSI episodes, except that they're longer and not as well written. I actually do not like his writing style because it feels very high school to me, but the plot is really good and he's very interesting in how he writes. He has videos for them on his website and I, I like that a lot because you know what the characters look like, you know what the main character is going through, you know what the killer is doing and stuff like that. The next book I borrowed is Jeffrey Deaver's uh, Praying for Sleep. I'm not actually sure what it's about. My friend told me it's about this psycho who's waiting for the right time to attack or something. I'm not really sure. And as you can see, she loves this book a lot. She's read it a few times. She's a very, very big fan of Jeffrey Deaver. I actually have never heard of him until I stepped into her room and looked at her bookshelf, of course. And she had like 10 books of him. And I was like, who, who is this? So, I mean, if... She has 10 books of him. He's probably a good writer, right? I mean, why would someone buy all of his books if he wasn't good? He's a suspense, crime, um, thriller novel kind of guy, so... Well, I'm excited to read these two because they're crime novels, and I like crime novels. I like the suspense and the thrill of them, and it's always good to be mind-boggled every once in a while. Get out of that dystopian, supernatural, fantasy books that I have. It's always just nice to take a break and read something contemporary or something that's happening in real life. The last book I got, which I am actually really excited about, is Extremely Close and Incredibly Loud by Jonathan Safran Foer. I read his first book, Everything is Illuminated, and I liked it a lot. I was gonna do a review on it, but I don't want to confuse you on the plot. It's quite complicated to explain, and I didn't know how to explain it myself. 
but it was a really, really good book. Jonathan Safran Foer is actually one of the most unique writers I've ever encountered. His writing style is very, very different from all of the other authors I've encountered. He's very poetic, he he plays around with sentence structures, and he skips pages for no reason, and he, he's just crazy, and I like it. He has this new book, it's called Tree of Codes, and if you've seen it, and if you've opened it, you know what I'm talking about. You see his creativity there. I won't explain it anymore because it's just too much to explain, but yeah, it's really, really good. Last thing I wanted to show you guys is something I'm really, really happy about. My boyfriend gave this to me, and I didn't expect it at all. It is a Nook Simple Touch. You can see that. The camera doesn't even do it justice. It is beautiful. It is just stunning. It has a rubbery texture at the back. And the screen is kind of pearly, and it doesn't glare as much. So it's touchscreen. It goes on e-ink. So just to show you what it looks like, it turns pages fast. And I am so in love with it because it is just crazy. It's beautiful. And I just, ugh, ugh. So I'm not going to go into it now because I've spent too much time talking about the books I got. So I'm going to have an official review posted up in a few days. And actually, I think I might also do an updated bookshelf tour because I moved my books to another bookshelf that is bigger. And now you can see all of the books I have. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.